We now come to that part of the worship um, where, of course, if we were in church, we would be having communion. Right now, we are kind of not doing that. Um, we kind of want to hope um, to do that when we are together in person. Um, but in its place, we want to do something that is mindful of the fact that we aren't communion, communing, but look forward to that day and that we can find a way of sharing together who we are as church. So we have been having people pray this prayer, what is called a spiritual communion. It's, quite, it's more well known in, our, in Anglican and Catholic traditions. So please join me in prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Lord's Supper. We love you above all things and we desire to possess you within our souls. And since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, we beseech you to come spiritually into our hearts. We unite ourselves with you together with all your faithful people gathered around every table, table of your church and we embrace you with all the affections of our souls. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Again, thank you for joining us. Um, if you can, we hope that you can join us for our midweek Vespers this coming Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Central on Facebook Live. And now, let us take part in the benediction. We have been refreshed and restored. We have been called and guided. Let us go forth knowing who our true shepherd is, following his path, secure in the knowledge that goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. And all the people of God say together, Amen. Go in peace, dear friends, to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.